1705, Thomas Newcomen, a Devonshire ironmonger, designed his first practical steam engine. It was first used for raising water from mine working. A pump rod hung from outer end of a beam. This beam was pivoted in its center. From the inner end of the beam hung a chain and rod which passed through the open top of a brass cylinder. The end of the rod was connected to a piston. Newcomen's principles of a beam and a piston which move inside a cylinder proved to be the basic design for many later engines. For more than 70 years, Newcomen's atmospheric engines with their open top cylinders reigned supreme. They were used for pumping water from the coal and lead mines in the north of England and from the tin and copper mines in the west. They were employed in cities to supply water. The barrel gear of these early engines sometimes had to be worked by hand. Even today, more than 200 years after Newcomen's death in 1729, a few of his engines still exist. This one, built in 1787 at Elsie Car in the north of England and with slight modifications, can still be worked. A memorial to the first man to make a practical steam engine, Thomas Newcomen. Last week, Joe and I took one of our modified six-wheel drive jobs out for a special run. Joe was driving this time while I watched points from the sidelines. The main idea was to have a final check-up on the clearance around the wheels. Just